So I showed you my calathea and then thought, actually, you know what, it's my day off. Why don't I just repot her and why don't I just video the repot? So, because she needed watering anyway, so that was a good excuse. So here's, you can see the roots there. Sadly, one of the roots came off, but I thought I might keep that one and see if I could possibly repot it separately. Calathea obfolia, and I was showing you how amazing the leaves are. Now she's becoming adult. You can see the adult leaves are huge. That's my hand. They are sort of, say, just a bit bigger than my fingers. Where well, you can see the other ones were smaller. And she's got lots and lots of um, combs there. She started growing loads all of a sudden. So now is a great time. So I've shook as much of the soil off which is what I always do when I'm transferring my plants from soil to lecker. I'm going to rinse some of the um, soil off her, so I'll be back in a second. And here are the roots all rinsed off. They actually look a lot cleaner now. Um, yeah, and I didn't lose any roots. I must say, um, really sturdy plant. But I just, it gave me a chance to be able to separate them a little bit to make sure that um, she's got the best chance of growing. So, I am going to put her into Lekka. That's what I think. That's my, that's my medium of choice, Lekka. She's got good stable roots there. You can see I only lost like one, that was it. So she's got good stable roots. I've had her for a couple of years, so there's a good chance that she should that she should survive the transition. Um, I think there might be a chance that she might revert back and grow a smaller and grow smaller, but we'll see what happens. So I've got my pot, I've got my pot here, and this was a um, handmade pot by a lady down here in Cornwall, which I thought was really nice. And what we're going to do is I'm going to start with putting some lecker in. So I've put some lecker about a third of the way in. But now I've just realised that actually the plant feels like it's too high up. So I think I'm going to have to take some out and um, yeah, just maybe take like a, a couple of handfuls out. That's what I think. Um, it just feels that little bit too high. And when you look at it, you can sort of see it's a little bit too high. Um, so, and it's just doing the best for the plant in it. So I'm just going to take a couple of handfuls out, um, you know, three or four, and then just give it another, another try and see. And that actually looks better and it feels better and it looks like it's at the right level. So my next job here is to is to backfill. And you can see there, um, you know, it's at the same level as the pot, which is really what I'm looking for. I don't want it to be too low and I don't want it to be too high. So I'm just going to backfill it now and smooth all the lecker out as I go along to make sure, that you know, give it a bit of a tap and make sure that it's all nice and level and that everywhere is covered. Um, and that lek has been um, soaking in foliage focus. Um, been soaking in foliage focus feed um, for a couple of days, so it's got that ingrained in it. So it's going to automatically get plenty of feed, plenty of water to to see it through this this big transition period. The one thing I do like about lekker clay balls is they really absorb the water. You can see. So I filled the bowl with water and then within a couple of days, the water was all absorbed. Um, yeah, it was amazing. So whilst I'm here, I'm just going to snip some of the leaves off and make sure that I separate everything so that each, each area of the plant can get good light. And to be fair, I'm just checking for things like check for pests, make sure that the plant is looking healthy in the way you want it to be. And then you're good to go. Right, ciao for now until next time. Bye.